Well, 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 how are we today, crowd of the Kerns? I'm just kidding. Today it's uh, Sunday night, and um, John here with another Cutting with Kerns video. Um, I don't know how the weather is, where you're at, but right now I almost need a fucking canoe to get to work. It has been a monsoon since late last evening, so um, just pouring down rain. I mean, like a cow pissing on a flat rock. That's how hard the rain's coming down right now. So, and I just had fresh concrete poured on two spots. One right off my doorstep and then a triangular spot right at the corner of my sidewalk and my driveway to uh, eliminate a, a low spot that kept pooling up with water. So, any which way. So, I'm off to work here shortly. Figured I'd get a shave in prior to. Um, tonight, I'm going to be going with Shannon Soap's Forest City Fern. Um, very good fougere smell scent. Um, and of course, kind of near and dear to my heart because Shannon's is about 50 minutes away up in Cleveland. I'm just due south off of I-71 and uh, State Route 83. So, um, I mean, I can probably make it up to Cleveland in about 50, 55 minutes. And she's right outside of town, right near where I used to work at the Cleveland Airport. So, um, any which way. Um, so we'll be rolling with that. The razor for today is going to be the vintage George Wollstenholme and Sons. Um, the scales were redone by Lather Me Whiskers. Nice blade. And then we'll be using the haircut and shave synthetic 26 millimeter brush. So. With that being said, I'm going to get rid of the cap for the first pass. Uh, where's my water? How the hell did that long hair get in my face? Wet the face just a bit, and we'll get to lathering. So hopefully you guys had a good weekend. Um, like I said, I had fresh concrete poured. Um, my little girl had her first communion yesterday, and the only downside to the weekend, my son's soccer team suffered their first loss of the season I believe to finish the season five and one so and they they lost to the best team in the league two to one so not a shabby season to say the least um, he played quite a bit but um, this team of kids I mean they were just they looked quite a bit bigger I mean I'm not saying they weren't eighth graders or anything like that but they just they were a team of just sheer athletes I mean my son's school is, you know, a bunch of, I mean, we live in, our, my kids go to school in Amish country, so much of their district has a great population of Amish in it. This school district they were playing didn't, which, I mean, that's not making the excuse. I'm just saying, my son's team is usually the most athletic kids. They work hard, but they're not the most athletic. These kids were just gamers. So... And it was a shitty day for it, too. It was just wet, cold, you know. It was, and I don't usually piss and moan about cold weather, but it was windy, cold, you know. Every one of the kids and parents, you could tell, didn't want to be sitting there. So, but, so that was the only downside of my weekend, other than this rain. But, shoot. All right, so I need to wipe the hands. I just almost dropped the brush. All right, that should be good enough. Always right under the nose. Bad itch. Okay. I'll unblock the digis. Might as well get this too. to roll in. So, hopefully you guys' this weekend's all going well, like I said. Um,
Not too bad. She is cutting pretty nicely. Um, I like this one. It's just about the same as my uh, blade I call Trusty Rusty. But not quite the same. I mean, it, it's almost the same exact size. And it might all be in my head, too. Um, Trusty Rusty is in Providence, Rhode Island right now on his way to the Stallions to uh, get a little edge work done. He's uh, endured probably about 40, 40 plus shaves and uh, is in need of a little TLC. Okay, other side. Oh yeah, this uh, this isn't quite the same as Trusty Rusty, and maybe it all has to do with the scales. I don't know, um, but I mean, aside from that new Whacker razor that I got a few weeks ago, Trusty Rusty is my favorite razor I have. Is it the absolute best shaver? Uh, some might argue. I believe it's the oldest razor I have, which it, he's an, that's an 1830s razor. This one I believe is 1850s. It at one time had an engraving on the, the blade, however, um, honing has uh, since wore it off. I mean, you can only see it if you can barely see. I don't even know if the light's going to allow me to show it to you. There's a little engraving like right through here, and I can't even barely make out what it says. So, any which way. So, I'm going to put you guys on hold for a brief minute. I'll uh, rinse up, lather back up, and we'll be right back. Okie dokie, we are back. So, now we're going to go against the grain. Uh, see a spot on my ear I need to take care of. And uh, I might as well just show the Allen block a little more attention because you can feel the slippage already. Okay. And we'll just get just a touch more. Okay. There we go. Almost have a bloop going. Too bad. Alright, now to the, the dreaded chinny chin chin. That and the mustache always seem to be the. Oh shit, that little soap on the hat. Oh well, we got it. Now 
no good dry cleaner if I get it dirty. Okay, now we can switch hands. So, <clears throat> so yeah, this uh, this scent of Shannon's Four City Fern Fougere scent, um, it's very reminiscent of Brute. It's obviously not a duplicate. There's more. I think it's a more complex scent than Brute, but it uh, if if you know what Brute smells like, you've at least got an idea for this. Like I said, I mean, it, I think it's much more complex blend of whatever scents she has put in here. It's awesome. Just put it that way. Um, can't say enough good things about Shannon's. The only downside I have is I've been, what, shaving for about 10 months now, oh, give or take. And, um,. I bought my first Shannon's soaps about eh, two, three weeks ago. <laughs> so I'm uh, way behind on the power curve, if you will. Alright, so this part sucks. Okay, so I am going to uh, put you guys on hold. I'll take care of uh, the third pass off camera, and we'll be back with the post shave in just a few minutes. So hang on. Okie dokie. So we are back. Um, just finished rinsing off the face and cleaning up the sink area. So um, since there, this aftershave it contains no alcohol, just witch hazel. I figured I'm going to forego the Thayer's Witch Hazel for now, and we're just going to go with this. So, um, without further ado, we'll take care of that first, and then we'll talk about what we used. So, da -da 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 -da. Happy John noises because this stuff smells amazing. <laughs> okay, so today um, it's going to be kind of a crazy week for me. I forgot to say that uh, I have like a company in doc, I guess, if you will, 101, whatever you want to call it. it uh, so I work a normal shift tonight. And then I work half a shift tomorrow night, so I'm going to go in from like 7 till 1 tomorrow night and then come back in at 9 in the morning and I'll stay till about... I have in dock from... and I've been there two plus years by the way. We're supposed to do this last year before COVID hit. So, um, but any which way, uh, I mean I guess it's a little different than in dock, a little more in depth, so um, it's not something I should have done like the day I started. But... Um, any which way. So I'm going to work a normal full 10-11 hours tonight. Tomorrow I'll work like 6 hours and then my end dock goes from 10 till 3.30 I believe. So I've got to be there like, I don't know, 9, 9.30 and then I can leave once I hit 10 hours for the day. 
and hopefully they'll comp the rest of my time. If not, I'll have to use some PTO at the end of the week. But I only have to work till about 8 o'clock on Wednesday night instead of working 8 p.m. Wednesday night till 6.30 a.m. Thursday morning. So I do have that going for me. Not a bad game. So, but any which way. So enough about my crazy week that I'm still trying to figure out how the hell I'm going to do all of it. But um, So today we used the haircut and shave synthetic brush. I already cleaned this thing out. Um, the, uh, da, 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 da. the George Wilson Home and Sons. Um, refinished, or re I guess recreated by Lather Me Whiskers. Um, the, the old tortoise tortoiseshell scales that were on it, falling apart, and yeah. So he did the awesome green with the gold spacer wedge. So very nice razor. Thank you again, Paul. Appreciate it. And then today, I don't want to sit the. Today we went with Shannon Soap's Forest City Fern. Okay, um, great scent, great artisan. If you guys haven't tried it, tried them, I definitely recommend you do. Um, it's they just have a very nice touch, even just like these stamped. I guess they're like riveted on stamps on the label on the side. But I mean, for this was a. This is their Rust Belt Reserve, which is their upgraded soap, and um, this set was $32. So, I mean, if you're looking at $16 a piece, that's a pretty damn good value when I talk about a soap and a splash. So, any which way. So, like I said, Shannon Soaps, Forest City Fern. But, um, any which way, guys. Um, I gotta bounce, gotta get some dinner, make my lunch for work. And then I gotta bounce out of here. So um, hopefully I don't have to catch a ride with a ferry boat across town, considering that it's nothing. But I mean, I live on a hill, thank God. But I mean, it's just a rushing river down my street. So, <laughs> but you guys will probably see this sometime Monday afternoon ish. I'm guessing. So you guys have a great day, night, whenever. Keep your shaves clean. Keep them wet. Later, guys.